Oh, what? Hello, gamers. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the M107 again. And now at this point, I have 360 kills on it because I've been using it quite a bit and I have basically the best loadout. So I'm gonna go over the best loadout for this thing first because it's kind of a best loadout video, but at the same time, I'm just like using it. So I'm using Coyote Sight. You can use whatever site you want, but Coyote Sight, it's kind of balling. Here you can use, I guess, Muffler or Oil Filter or Muzzle Booster if you're feeling insane at the game. Or you could run CQB Barrel. That makes your muzzle velocity terrible. Literally has it. However, you do keep your torso kill and if you cannot aim down sights for poop and you want to aim down sights insanely fast so you can actually hit things it's actually not too bad but yeah i'd say muzzle break is the best for grip you can use a laser if you want to but i run skeleton grip because it's the one that makes you aim down sights faster and then here you can run extended mag i guess bt maybe a canted if you want to or a laser and i run laser here you can run 416 barrett i guess slap if you want to and i guess dust shot tracer list is whatever you can use it if you want to 416 barrett is probably the best one however i kind of like the regular ammo because of how much pen it has you go from 10 studs to six studs it's kind of a big deal six studs you can probably shoot through most walls but if you want to shoot through like a box like this or something this box here you're not going to be able to let's see oh he's there that's two you're gone, dude. You also see that my skill with this gun has probably increased by a little bit since I actually used it last. Like, I actually hit a lot more shots. Because I'm going to be real with you. I've actually really been enjoying this gun. It's super fun. It's obviously the most broken sniper in the game. I'm the one who's been saying this for a long time. Even since my sniper ranking video, I said this is the best sniper, you know? It does 98 to 88 limb damage. How? And along with that, it also can torso kill all ranges, has 10 studs of pen, 80... RPM. It literally shoots faster than the Mosin and the SVDS. It's basically just a torso kill DMR. How? Like, I get it. It has a lot of recoil. But just because a gun has a lot of recoil doesn't mean it's not the most broken thing in the game, you know? The M231. Great example. You'll probably not be able to hit as much stuff with a coyote at range. But the thing is, up close, you're going to have a lot of fun trying to hit stuff with the default scope. Come on, I hit marker that? How'd I hit marker that, dude? I shouldn't have hit marker. That was definitely in the torso. See, I can shoot through that, though. Oh, <gasps> no. This thing is unfair, bro. Also, you can use extended mag, but, like, have fun with your terrible handling. Even worse than before. In my opinion, you don't really need extended mag to run this thing and do well, but, like, you can use it. It's kind of annoying that they didn't just nerf the capacity and, like, leave it at 5. Because, you know, it used to have 10. They could have just been, like, you know what? Instead of making it so there's an extended mag and you nerf the capacity, how about you just nerf the capacity and make it so it always has five no matter what? You can't have an extended mag, you know? Because, like, certain guns have extended mags in this game that... I mean, certain guns in real life, not certain guns in this game. There's certain guns in real life that have extended mags that this game does not have. They have the gun, but not the extended mag for the gun. Oh, come on. It would be overpowered if you could have, like, the 100-round double drum on the Glock 18, you know? So they didn't add it. It was kind of cringe when people were like, hey, don't add a 20-round drum on the freaking AA-12. And then they did. Because they were like, eh, yeah, should be fine. I'm going to tell you right now, it was not fine. It was not fine at all. It still is not fine. The community has still not come back from it. I can't hit anything now. Let me hit one shot. Let me hit one shot, please. That guy's going to take the hill, but I don't care. So I can take it back. He took it. Okay, cool. Cool beans, bro. Cool beans. Bonk. Oh, hit marker. Really, dude? Uh, just avoid me right now. Thanks. If you guys want to know my strategy for the M107, it's basically just like pop your coyote on there. Then what you got to do is spam E while looking around. Second you see somebody, just shoot him in the face. Or shoot him center of mass because, you know, torso kill ranges. You don't really need a headshot. Oh my gosh. The torso kill idea in this game, like the torso kill for snipers, it's kind of weird because like when you think about it, is it really that necessary? I guess it is kind of, but being able to body shot with snipers kind of removes the skill from them. I'm glad that you don't have to like headshot every time because I would be trash. Also Metro M107, okay. But yeah, especially this gun, which can literally torso kill all ranges, at least make it lose a torso kill at like 350 studs. I get it's a 50 BMG, but like it needs something, dude. See, when this gun got added to the game, when it was in the test place, I wasn't in the community. I feel like I would have said, hey guys, a 10 round torso kill ranges gun is kind of overpowered. Because back then it just had a default 10 round capacity. What? No extended mag, no nothing. It also had way better handling than it does now. This gun has only gotten nerf after nerf and it's still overpowered. And when it first came out, all the YouTubers were like, well, it's kind of hard to use, so it's fine. It's not fine, dude. And guess what? It was not fine. It was not fine at all. It was terrible. It just didn't need to get added. They didn't need to add a Barrett to this game. Every time somebody's like, oh, we should add a Barrett to our game, everyone's like, no, 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 we should probably not do that. Like, think about the Barrett in Arsenal. That game doesn't really care about balancing, but the Barrett in that game is so powerful. 
Like even before they added the ability to literally fly with it. Even back when it was like, eh, it just has 10 bullets, shoots really fast, and does 200 damage anywhere in the body. Keep in mind, players in Arsenal have uh, only 100 health. So, well, yeah, it uh, just kills no matter what. 50 cals in general make no sense in this game. If you hit somebody even in the foot with a 50 cal, probably not going to kill them immediately, but it's going to kill them. You know, it's going to rip off their foot completely remove their legs it's a freaking 50 bmg dude it's such a big bullet i'm not saying they should make it just kill anywhere in the body except the bfg does that but like not to that far like you're telling me that the freaking bfg that can kill with a shot to the foot is gonna like lose that ability at range i'm just saying in general 50 bmgs don't need to exist inside of a game like this because the bfg and hakate they are balanced but if you make a semi-auto one what are you doing dude basically just nerf everything about this gun again it needs more recoil worse ads time i guess worse damage not that it matters too much. Probably needs to keep the torso kill ranges. I'm going to be real with you. It wouldn't be a 50 BMG if it couldn't torso kill ranges. Or maybe make it lose the torso kill super far away. But it does like less limb damage or something. Make it have less reserve as well. And also, can you make it shoot slower, please? It, it doesn't need to have this much RPM. Do you see this? How does it shoot that fast? It shoots faster than the SVDS does. The SVDS has like a 75 stun torso kill. This has an infinity torso kill. But yeah, the reload. The reload is like inconvenient, I guess. But like if you're not using it on literal metro, it doesn't matter. A reload on a sniper is really not that big of a deal. It's just a minor inconvenience. Except if you use it up close and like it's a 50 cal, you can literally just use the server browser and go like, hmm, I want to play Dunes every single game and never have a close range fight in your entire life because you just camp at the back of the map until you die and then go back to the exact same camping spot. I don't know if you could tell, but uh, I find this gun uh, just a little bit on balance, you know, just a little bit. I'm going 16 and 8 on Metro with it. It's not too bad, like 2KD on Metro, not too bad. It's probably the best CQC sniper because I'm probably able to get more kills in CQC with this than like the other snipers. Well, it depends on the sniper, I guess. Old eight mil Mosin, probably not as good since like old eight mil Mosin was kind of broken up close and just in general it'd be funny for like april fool's day they just buffed every gun that they nerfed bring back old a12 with flechette and 20 round drum old eight mil Mosin, old m107 old m4 old m16a4 like that would be so much fun they should do that or like make a build of the game that has like all the unnerfed guns just so people can actually see how far the balancing in this game has come. Because that 107, it's not as broken as it used to be. I'd still say it's the best sniper in the game and the most broken. And you know, there's still guns like PPK-12. And guns like get added eventually. Sometimes guns will just be added like the PPK-12. Just gets buffed or something and gets a million RPM just for no reason. And then it just becomes really broken. Oh. Yeah, the movement not the best, but like you can just kill people. It's so easy. But I don't know, how are you guys? Can't wait to like get off this recording session and like play some Bloons Tower Defense 6. I don't know, I've been enjoying Bloons a lot. You know Bloons, guys? You know Bloons Tower Defense? It's so much fun. I have 6 on Steam. Very, very good game. Such a baller game. So much fun. I'd make the railgun noise from last time, but that was kind of annoying. I noticed that when I was editing and I was like, mm, it's kind of annoying funny but annoying at least this thing doesn't have a long barrel because you know how broken that would be oh what a triple collide bonk oh trade oh okay but yeah 32 18 i'm not doing that good i'm just kind of vibing with this gun right now just enjoying myself i don't know trick shotting with the m107 is uh not going so well mostly because i like never trick shot at all but yeah maybe i should just end off the video here probably been recording for a while vibing just enjoying myself dude just having a ball or time playing with the m107 but yeah i think that does it for the video if you guys enjoyed please leave a like and a sub and i'll see you in the next one peace